Four days ago, I set out from my home in Las Vegas to ride up the Pacific coast of the United States, from Mexico to Canada, and back home again. Before leaving and along the way, people told me that they thought that my bike was too small and that my trip was too big, that I was underfunded and overweight, and that I was crazy for even wanting to go on this trip. I get that I'm probably not the most experienced rider and that I was probably a little nuts for going alone. But I'll tell you what, I have never had such an adventure. I cannot wait to go again. It's June 18th, 2011, about 8 in the morning. Up at Big Sur, gorgeous, gorgeous place to camp if you ever get the opportunity. Okay, day four of my adventure, day four of wearing the same clothes. I don't have a lot of room on my bike. So, a little colder than I thought it was going to be. I just added another layer. Alright, so I just had to stop and ride outside a campground. My pack was leaning a little funny. Still isn't sitting how I'd like, but I, I know it's on the secure. I just checked all the hooks and stuff. So. Beautiful. Little trails. Looks like I could probably take this trail down to the down to the edge. Let's see. Oh wow. <laughs> yes. We're standing right on the edge of this cliff. And I tell you what, it is a long way down. You see that? <laughs> that is unreal. Yes. All right, so I'm north of Santa Cruz. Probably about maybe 20 miles if I'm guessing. It is beautiful here, <laughs> so beautiful. I mean, I'm getting pictures right, uh, and I went, well, I went right up to the cliff. I probably shouldn't have done that. It was a little bit scary. I wish people could have come with me to see this, honestly. This is amazing. If, if you ever had the chance to go on a motorcycle road trip up to PCH, or for anywhere for that matter, take it, don't pass it up.
Whoa. All right. Here's the situation. It's eight minutes to eight. I I don't know where I'm at. Came off the one because they said there's a state park over here, but I've been going for miles and <laughs> and I haven't come across it yet. I'm tired. I've been riding all day. And more than anything, I need a place to lay down. So I'm gonna try to look something up on my GPS. It's on my phone, so it's not the easiest thing to use while riding. Whew. All right. I mean, for being lost. Not in a bad place, but you know the vegetation is so thick. But, you know, I don't. I don't. <laughs> I mean, I'd have to sleep like right on the edge of the road. I don't really want to do that if I don't have to. And today's been a gorgeous, gorgeous day. I've seen so much. I drove through Monterey today. San Francisco, went across the San Francisco Bridge, which was rad. And and now I'm just trying to uh, find a place to crash for the night and and uh, start again tomorrow. This thing's taking forever. All right, let's see. Sky Campground, 1.6 miles, that's doable. All right. I think and my wife's headphones. I, do this. I swiped these before I left from my wife. Don't worry, she knows. I told her after I was gone. You know, sometimes it's easier to ask forgiveness than permission. So <laughs> this was one of those times. trailhead, campground, whatever. It's by permit only. Alright. So I was here an hour ago. Ago and now I'm now I'm back here. That sucks. All right. Well, it's official. I'm screwed. Sun's gone down. I have no idea where I'm at. I know I'm on the one, but I haven't seen like a legitimate town in miles and miles. There's all kinds of bugs everywhere, and I don't have any mosquito repellent or anything like that. <sighs> yeah. Alright, you probably can't see this very well at all. But it is now.
12 right now. Uh, I got here to the KOA campsite in whatever town I'm in, to be honest. I don't know. Um, I got lost today. I've been here for about 45 minutes. Uh, I got my camp set up for the most part. Just kind of chat with the, uh, my neighbors over here. They're from Canada. And um, they're riding too. It's him and his wife and girlfriend. And they're, uh, they're riding south. So we're just kind of crossing paths here. Anyway, uh, yeah, just an amazing ride. Started from Big Sur, went through Monterey. San Francisco, so, you know, went across the Golden Gate Bridge, um, saw San Quentin, didn't, uh, didn't really do any, like, touristy stuff, uh, today, but, you know, just an amazing, amazing ride, um, headed north from San Francisco in San Rafael, I took the one, and it was, it was an amazing, just an amazing ride, I mean, um, I went down the side of this, this river. I, I, I literally chased the sun as it was setting. I watched it I watched it set maybe four times. The mountains were cascading down to the sea. So as I as I progressed, you know, I, the sun would kind of pop back up and I got to watch it set again. It was, it was truly the most spectacular sunset I've ever seen. Um, with that being said, I I probably logged, I don't know, 100 to 140 miles um, playing my most favorite game. Uh, yeah, not not really sure how it happened. Like I said, I stayed on the one, but it, it becomes a very, very rural um, highway outside of San Rafael. And so I'm, I've now made it back to the one, I'm sorry, to the 101, and, and I'm heading north. And I'll, I'll take a look at the map and see when and where I need to cut back over. So anyway, yeah, just uh, absolutely exhausted. I spent maybe 11 hours or so hey, on my bike today. Yeah. <laughs> 